What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you were new to the channel, I am Gold Pony and today we are in the all new 2019 Genesis G70, courtesy of Jack G and Volvo, Hyundai and Genesis in York, PA. Super excited for this one. I gotta be quite honest because I was looking hard at this one for quite a while. Definitely a car that piqued my interest, especially with the bigger engine setup, but we'll get a little more into that later. So for now, Let's start with pricing. And so as I alluded to, there are a couple different engine setups. There's gonna be the two liter turbocharged engine with rear wheel drive. That one is gonna start at $34,900. And that two liter turbocharged setup that we have today actually comes in a manual as well. And that actually ups the price slightly to $37,900. And then you have the 3.3 liter twin turbo V6. That one is gonna start at $43,750. And so by the way, that was pricing for the rear wheel drive setup if you wanted to add all-wheel drive simply add two thousand dollars to any of those prices but so back to the engine setup we have today powering this one is going to be a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder putting out 252 horsepower at 6200 rpm 260 pound feet of torque available at 1400 rpm power again sent to the rear wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic or six speed manual zero to 60 time on that engine setup comes in at approximately 5.7 seconds which doesn't sound all that bad but we will be testing it out later and by the way the automatic that we have today it does come with paddle shifters as well another thing i will be testing out in a little bit mpg numbers though come in at 22 city 30 highway and with either setup it will take premium unleaded fuel but so then there is the other engine setup if you wanted a crazy acceleration being a 3.3 liter twin turbocharged v6 engine pointing out 365 horsepower at 6,000 rpm 376 pound feet of torque available at 1300 rpm again sent to rear wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic but get this zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds that is pretty crazy with mpg numbers coming in at 18 city 25 highway using premium unleaded fuel but so that before we get into any kind of crazy accelerations there is a drive mode circular dial just behind the shifter there and that's going to give you drive modes like smart eco comfort sport and custom where you can really customize the driving settings to your own liking there but essentially what those drive modes are going to do is adjust things like the shift point the throttle response, the steering sensitivity, and the adaptive suspension system as well. But I think you guys know what time it is now. I'm in comfort driving mode, which is not my style whatsoever. So let's put it in that sport driving mode. And I like how you can see the driving modes both on the gauges as well as on the infotainment display up here as well. That's pretty cool. But either way, I think it is time. Let's test out the paddle shifters in sport driving mode, see how quickly they react. And at the same time, let's do a quick little acceleration test in the new 2019 Genesis. This is G70. Definitely not bad acceleration. I remember driving the Kia Stinger GT with a 3.3 liter twin turbo and that pins you in the back of your seat. And the Genesis G70 with that engine setup is even faster, so I know that is crazy. But this one actually didn't do that bad. Definitely no issues with merging onto the highway. There's an ever so slight delay to the paddle shifters, but again, not really all that bad. So for a commuter car or something like that, definitely no issues with the acceleration. But so then to go along with that, as always, braking is equally important. And so there is a slightly different brake setup depending on what engine setup you go with. For instance, with the two liter turbocharged, you will get ventilated front discs, solid rear discs. If you go with the 3.3 liter twin turbo, however, you will get front and rear ventilated disc brakes and they are actually going to be manufactured by Brembo with red brake calipers and I can tell you having a Brembo brake set up on my own car it's definitely some crazy stopping power with that manufacturer so that is definitely going to be something that's well needed for the 3.3 liter twin turbo then touching on handling and suspension a little bit you will find front and rear stabilizer bars regardless of what setup you go with as well as an independent strut front suspension an independent multi-link rear suspension and again as I was mentioning earlier there is an optional adaptive suspension system which is going to essentially adjust the shock absorbers at each wheel giving you not only a more smooth ride but tightening up the suspension around heavy cornering and if you were really going for performance on a 3.3 liter twin turbo and the 2 liter sport trim level you will also get a limited slip differential as well and a sport tuned suspension by the way so that's going to help send torque to the wheel that has the most traction giving you a better acceleration a little better handling as well so that's definitely well needed in any performance car and as far as the steering feel goes it actually feels nice 
nice. It is a heavier weight, especially in a sedan. So definitely a nice steering feel. Ride quality has definitely been on point. I will say with the sport trim level that we have here, it is a little bigger wheel setup. So you're gonna feel a little more of the road with the sport trim level, but still definitely a more than adequate suspension setup. And again, that adaptive suspension helps with the ride quality as well there. When it comes to cabin noise, it's quite quiet on the inside. So I've had no issues there. And touching on visibility, absolutely no issues. It is a sedan. Most sedans, you don't have any issues there. So I can see perfectly fine out the back. So that's working for me. Also, there is a head up display available since I'm touching on visibility. That's going to be with the prestige package. So it's going to allow you to better keep your eyes on the road because the speed and the speed limit is going to be illuminated on your windshield. So you'll never have to take your eyes off the road there. Always nice. But enough with the driving dynamics, you guys. Let's now check out the exterior because this one looks good of the 2019 Genesis G70. And so when it comes to the exterior of any Genesis, Genesis's philosophy when it comes to design language is athletic elegance, which in my opinion is definitely portrayed quite well with the G70. Up front, you will find that large front grille with the adaptive cruise control monitor cleverly incorporated into it. You almost can't even see it because of the way it was set up. So it's definitely nice that Genesis designed it that way. To the sides, halogen headlights will come standard with the two liter, and that is gonna come with clear housings as a standard setup. However, there are LED headlights with dark housings available with really any of the package options, including Elite, Prestige, Dynamic, and Sport. So therefore, that is what you're looking at right now. And by the way, those LED headlights are gonna come with all 3.3 liter twin turbo trims as well. But either way, every single trim level is gonna give you LED daytime running lights as well as the automatic features. You don't have to worry about turning on your headlights at night. And in addition to that, you will find dark chrome surrounds for any of the sport packages. But make your way to the side, you will find that boomerang design within that front fender actually looks quite good in my opinion. Also chrome window surrounds. And when it comes to the side mirrors, one of the best parts in my opinion, I don't know why I like this so much, but the side mirrors kind of appear here as if they are sitting on a shard of glass, kind of just like sitting on it. So again, a nice design logo. So I'm definitely a fan of that. And by the way, power adjustable body color side mirrors will come standard with integrated turret signals and they will be heated. But then zooming out a little bit, you will find chrome door handles and they are going to be a dark chrome if you go with the sport package. Also Genesis logo approach lights if you go with the 3.3 liter or the two liter elite trim level and up. Then take a look at the wheels, 18 inch multi-spoke alloy wheels will come standard for both engine types. 19 inch double five spoke alloys are gonna come with the rear wheel drive setup and with the sport packages. So that is what you're looking at right now. And by the way, that wheel setup is a staggered fitment I should mention. So 19 by eight inches up front, 19 by eight and a half inches in the back. Downside is you can't rotate the tires. Plus side is it's gonna give you a little added traction for a better acceleration there. Make your way to the back, LED taillights will come standard on every single trim level. Then just below it all, with the two liter, you will find a single exhaust outlet with dual tips. And with the 3.3 liter, you will find dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. So you guys know what we have to do next. We do have the two liter today, so we have that single exhaust outlet. So as always, you guys, here is that exhaust clip. When it comes to how to open that rear trunk, there actually is a button on the key fob, so simply press that if you like, but also available is a hands-free smart trunk, so simply walk up to the trunk and it's gonna automatically open up for you, so that is also there if you like, but once opened up, cargo capacity is gonna come in an even 10 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split. Those rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space if you needed it there. Then make your way up to the rear legroom. That is gonna come in at 34.8 inches. So for reference, I'm at even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. Also, there is a rear center armrest with cup holders as expected, as well as rear ventilation back there too. And if you go with the dynamic package, those rear seats, they're actually gonna be heated. So that's definitely quite nice, but make your way up to the front seats. Leatherette surfaces will come standard along with the 12 way power adjustable driver's seat with four way power lumbar. And there is going to be leather seating. If you go with any of the option packages for the two liter or the 3.3 liter, heated and ventilated front seats will come with the 3.3 liter. And again, any package option 
option for the two liter. And if you were curious how I got this awesome diamond pattern stitching on this one, that is gonna come with the prestige, dynamic, or sport packages. So we do have the sport package, so that is why you're seeing them right now. Then take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It will come leather wrapped for every single trim level, and it will come power tilt and telescoping if you go with the elite package and up. Then when it comes to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Genesis logo on the one side end. When you flip it over, lock, unlock, and that button to pop the rear hatch, but you will get a push button start actually for every single trim level of the G70. So all I am going to do is simply put my foot on the brake here and press that engine start button located just to the left of the climbing control vent there. And so then once started up, tachometers on your left, speedometers on your right, there is a fairly large digital display front and center. And to control what is on that digital display, there are steering wheel mounted controls on the right side there, but that's gonna give you things like navigation, tire pressure. There's also gonna be a digital speedometer if you wanted it, along with your trip A and trip B. And like I had previously mentioned, it is gonna tell you what driving mode you were in as well, but make your way to overall interior quality. There is a wide sunroof and I can definitely vouch for that. It is pretty wide actually. That is gonna come with any of the package options for the two liter and it's gonna come standard with the 3.3 liter. Alloy foot pedals are gonna come with the sport package and with all 3.3 liter trims. There is also a wireless phone charger. It's gonna come with the dynamic package as well as a microfiber suede headliner with dynamic package. And just to let you guys know, I do have every single package option on this particular G72 liter today. So therefore I do have the wireless phone charger and I do have the suede headliner. I love the suede headliner. You usually find that in Porsche and a lot of high-end manufacturers. So that's definitely nice. Home light controls will come standard. That's gonna be located on the rear view mirror there. And overall, I do love 99% of the interior in this G70. There's aluminum trims on the door that ties into the dash. Also that diamond patterned stitching is carried onto the doors as well. And I say I love 99% of it because there is a little bit of hard plastic just to the right of the shifter. But other than that, really a very high end interior, especially with that suede headliner. I just love that, I don't know why. But now let's make our way to the tech on this one. Eight inch colored touchscreen display will come standard. And that's gonna give you Bluetooth and audio streaming as well as Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Therefore you have free navigation through your smartphone phone as well as the ability to like and dislike your Pandora songs up there. Also factory navigation system is going to come standard for the 3.3 liter and it's going to be available with any of the package options with the 2 liter so we do have that one today. And you could check out your driving information up there if you wanted to as well as your radio information and by the way one of the cool things about buying a new Genesis you actually get three years of free Sirius XM radio with any Genesis actually that you buy so that's going to come standard that's pretty darn sweet if you ask me but six speakers is going to come with the standard sound system however you will get a 15 speaker lexicon sound system if you go with the 3.3 liter or any of the package options for the two liter so you guys know what we have to do next here let's turn on the radio see what we got playing this morning and let's test out the clarity of this 15 speaker lexicon sound system we have today <laughs> I love when there is a ton of speakers in a car. You can really tell, honestly, it is coming from all directions. It makes it feel like more of a studio experience. Absolutely ton of bass on this one, crystal clear. Lexicon, you did a dang good job on this sound system. But so then last thing on the tech display I wanted to mention is when you do put the G70 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera for every single trim level. And if you went with the prestige package, you will actually also get a surround view monitor. So once again, we do have that set up today and there's actually different views you could take as well so that is pretty darn cool i like that i love the surround view monitor on this one but so then that is going to take us along to safety and so first thing i wanted to mention on the g70 the g70 did get a 2019 top safety pick plus from iihs meaning the very best safety rating available so that is definitely going to be there for you front side and side curtain airbags will come standard along with latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats also rear child door locks in the back and all trims are also going to give you adaptive cruise control, high beam assist, forward collision avoidance assist with pedestrian detection, lane keeping assist, blind spot warning with rear cross traffic alert, also driver attention warning, and if you went with the Elite package, that one is going to add parking distance warning, auto dimming outside mirrors, and rain sensitive windshield wipers. And so, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold.